Hey Mo, we need to get an intro down for this channel, you know. Yeah, but what are you thinking, Lee? Why don't I rap over the top of it? Don't be ridiculous, you sound like a northern M&M. Look, listen to me. Yo, yo, yo. The munch brunch in the hoose, man. Absolutely not. Right, what you got in mind? Let's just keep it simple. I'm Lee. I'm A. They wear the munch brunch. Don't knock it till you've tried it. Yeah, but that's usually people patronising me say that. Don't knock it till you try it. Well, I don't want to try necrophilia. I know I don't like that. They found the poor bloke, passed out, not passed out, but fast a kip, next to a half-eaten cheesecake. Then he's like, oh, there he is, there he is. And I'm like, oh, it's flying over. And Santa Claus is flying over the sky. I was like, oh my God, it's real. He's really there. <laughs> Hi everyone, and welcome back to another mukbang with Aim and Lee. We are the Munch Punch UK. <coughs> Lee, tell them what we have on the menu. I don't know what we've got, you've got to tell All them. Alright, you then. made it. So, today, guys, we have a beef stir fry. That consists of egg noodles, beef, um, bamboo shoots, water chestnuts, and bean sprouts, onions, peppers, garlic powder, um, oyster sauce. Spring onion sauce, chair main sauce, boiled eggs, chicken gyozas, and spring onion topping. So I'll show you a close up, guys. And guys, Amos cooking. You can always tell the difference. Mine looks messy in like chips and burgers and whatnot, and Amos always looks amazing. So, is Amos cooking? That's a good thumbnail. Okay, sorry guys, we did take a thumbnail. We're not sure which one we'll use yet. But yeah, this is all yeah. Amos cooking. So. We're going to give it a whirl. We've got chicken gay houses, like I'm says. We're just going to stick them on our and dishes. So we need on. to. We've got some teriyaki sauce to go with it, guys. Um, it's got this one down in Lidl. It's gone down for Lidl. What What did you get down Lidl? The gay houses. Oh, I thought you meant... No, I got the gay houses from down there. Got the scissors? You got the scissors. I got the scissors. Uh, yeah. So we're going to give this a go, guys. It's a, new, it's a new one for me. Well, you can't always eat crappy food all the time, can you? Nah, no, so, it's my kind of food, yummy. Yeah, if I had a choice, she would be like half Korean or Asian of some t origin, because she loves all this sort of food. Teriyaki sauce. I do. I don't really know where to put it, mine. That's why it was going in the middle, wasn't it? There's no room in the middle, I just had to stick it there and lean over. Right. you got to put your finger on there, bro. Okay, let's uh, zoom in slightly, people. Oh, that's a bit bad. So, hmm? what, what do we do? I don't do chopsticks. We don't need them. God, what a fork. Posh. <laughs> bit of posh nosh. Do you need some salt? Mm hmm. Not much of them. No, as in, do you need it? Have you had that's any? Not, yeah, I've had a bit. What do you hate when the salt dries up at the top, guys? What a pain in the arse. How are we doing? Hit that thumbs up. Hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Comment below, um, and all the other stuff. Your request is on Instagram. Your request is on Instagram. That d details are in the description. Yeah, listen, everything is in there. I've not took any onions out. Oh balls! <laughs> I don't do onions. Um, and also check out our other channel, guys. Munch's Delights, which is our other YouTube channel. I actually really like noodles. Right now, really used to. Hmm. Hmm. So, we're going into lockdown. This uh, beef is really tender. I'm not kidding you. We'll do how. Okay, so. <laughs> the trick is, I I've, that. which I've always learnt with this, is always to tenderise things like this. It's to boil it first. Always works. And then season it up. Yeah, literally, we've got some... Um, oh, beans, that's really done. Stir-fry uh, chicken... Not chicken, sorry. Stir-fry beef strips. Mm. <clears throat> and some, like, very thin steak. Uh, and we just boiled it for about two or three hours at like, high temperature. And I've never had beef. Or maybe, maybe in a stew once in a while. But even that diced beef is never that tender. That is ridiculously tender. Mm. Let's try one of these guy houses. Let's see what all the fuss is about. And teriyaki sauce. So these are chicken gyozas. They do vegetable ones down there and chicken. They're nice. Wow. Yeah. You want I to like try them. it? 
Dirty pepper. Mm. They're really nice, these. Oh, we like them. Mm. First time I tried them. Mm. They're really That's good. Awesome. But yeah, at the minute, guys, we're going to lock down in a few days. Uh, Boris has come out and said today, or he's expected to say, that he expects double the amount of deaths uh, during the second wave. And it's been up to the doctors to decide who lives and who dies. Yeah. No pressure on them poor doctors then. Horrible. Absolutely. Awful. Poor people. And it could be any one of us, couldn't it? Mm -hmm. well, the way things are going, we're all going to be stood outside in our bloody pyjamas, in the sodding snow. Because, you know, like the NHS clapping thing will come back, which it should do. It's be bloody cold, don't it, in December. Everyone will be out there, will be out in scarves. So like, get your out of scarves on, Sue. We've got to go outside for two minutes and bang a pan and clap for the NHS. Mm. We'll all do it, but we'll be there like with icicles on our feet and on our toes or whatever. What do you think of the actual stir fry? The actual stir fry is really actually nice. Mm. The whole thing is really lovely. Mm. It is good. Well, like, like, if you said to me about six months ago, oh, you'll be a beef. Well, it was meant to be beef ramen, weren't it? Kind of like it. Yeah. If you said to me you'd be eating all this stuff, I'd be like, no, we well, won't well, be soft. But since we started this, I've learned I like chili Doritos. I like more than that. Cheetos. I like this sort of stuff. I like cheese now. I like compete. Well, you know, like, a bit more than I used to. Mm. I'm mad. I'm really got into a food lately. Can I have the other sort of so <coughs> soaked up? Or dried up. Thank you. That's the thing, and it's an old saying, isn't it? Don't knock it till you've tried it. Yeah, but that's usually people patronising me say that. Don't knock it till you try it. Well, I don't want to try necrophilia. I know I don't like that. So saying I don't don't knock it till you try it, they could say that about any number of things, couldn't they? You know, I don't fancy trying acid anytime soon and going to. I'm on about food, Ray. Just food. <laughs> well, there's some food I wouldn't try either. I was watching last night, you was watching something, or was I? Oh, that was it, it was on the TV, guys. They had um, Michael Palin, the, you know, the traveller, and uh, he used to be Monty Python and stuff. Oh, you always talk about really horrible things, I was sorry, and it's disgusting. Well, you was watching it on the TV. But I wasn't eating at the time. Yeah, you know, like, going back over his past documentaries and stuff, and at one point, I don't know where he was, in an Asian country, I think, and he went to it for a meal, and it was... Um, called a snake buffet yeah and they brought the snake in front of him and killed it and cut it and cooked it and he ate it right there i was like yeah i, I will knock it without trying it because i'll never put on eating snake when are you going to learn oh as you toxics not on camera you can teach me put off camera on the dice <laughs> mm. mm. but not only do we have to deal with covid there's now an avian outbreak, an avian flu outbreak in Kent. What the heck's that? Avian flu, that's bird flu. They found a farm with like chickens on and 480 odd birds today known to be culled. It's yeah, absolutely cold, it, isn't it, really? Uh, humanely, they'll do it the nice way, you know, uh, if there's a nice way of doing that. Because we've all got flu, which if that gets out, then Christ, that's a double one minute over Christmas. It's just a shame, isn't it? But you know something? All the talking in the world about COVID isn't going to make it go away. We've all got to just sort of get on with it, haven't we? I mean, it's the same. We're all in the same boat. Well, us in uh, America seem to be worse off than anyone right now. Mm. But some people are like, well, that's the right idea. I don't give you many ideas. Some people said, sod it. It's November. Are you like, what date now? The 2nd of November, is it, I think? Christmas, we're in um, another lot now, basically. So let's just get the tree up, and people are actually putting the trees up. You was watching somebody yesterday, I think, didn't you? Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna do it because I think we need a little bit of joy and cheer and happiness. I mean, Christmas is the time normally you do spend in your family anyway, but. Last year, we did quite a lot outside the house, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Like, with our families. Look and how that went for us. We got bloody ill. Oh, my God. Don't tell them again, but <laughs> it was because we was out and about here, there and everywhere that we caught the bloody illness, whatever it was we had. 
Mm. So staying in the, oh, on the build-ups, Christmas, other than having to go out to the essential places and for work and for food and shopping, right? If if I going out for meals and drinks, lead up to Christmas saves us getting ill like that again. Yeah. I'll happily stay. In. <laughs> but then again, that was the worst illness I've ever felt in my entire life. Sorry, peeps. So that's a, um, we've got a rickety table. We need to get like a book and stick it under one of their legs. Stop it tapping away. Mm. So yeah, I mean, I'm just all for getting a tree up now. Uh, Not right now. I'll give it. I'll give it like a week. Maybe <laughs> next week and. Oh, thank you. It doesn't bother you. Hmm. No, yet. Yep, I am. Of course. But we always enjoy the build-ups of Christmas. Mm. Yeah, you know, watch a nice Christmas film on an evening. Even though T's got older, oh, she's too old for it now. So T, do you want to come and watch like where? Even at Hall- Halloween, Halloween. T, do you want to watch Hogs Like Us? No, play on the Xbox. We and I still do stuff like that sometimes. <laughs> we we are still kids at heart. Now what? Christmas to me brings back good memories. Why do you want it to end if you're a grown up? Mm. Some people don't. Some people do it all year round. Yeah, they do. We are, that's brilliant. Mm, there's a house in our area. Um, I don't think they do it now, do they? No. Yeah. They did. They did for a lot of years before I moved here. No, they don't now. And they'd have the decorations up all year round? Uh, oh, yeah. They started about October. Well, the prop have done it up, though. And you mm. could have sort of paid to go and view it, and all the money went to charity. Yeah. I like them programmes on television, like, in the lead-up to December, about... The documentaries yeah. and stuff. Mm. About Mad Pete and his obsession with Christmas baubles. What is your... Question for you. What is your most Christmas tradition? What is it you do repeated every single year without fail? If you're asking me, complain. Complain about the tree going no, too early. No, no word of a lie. He's never given it me easy with that one. <laughs> Not once. I think this year's different though. Is it? Yeah. Well, because you... we're not going to be able to do anything. So enjoying the Christmas feel, mm. you know, the lights and everything. And if you're telling the truth, Lee, it's only about your eyes. So it isn't about the fact you don't like the tree up. It is about your eyes and I the lighting. I can't be asked with putting the... I, like, I don't mind taking it down. It doesn't do nothing. Why are you lying? No, that's what I'm saying. I, don't, I always take it down. I took it down the last couple of years. I just don't like putting it up. The whole, I mean, I, you were showing one the other day. And literally just pulled this thing at the top and the whole thing out. Phew, mm, I'd love just that. set up on its own. Didn't look very nice, though. Effortless. But not very appealing. I think no, I'm obsessed with the tree. I get a bit too much. Mm. It goes my egg in. Mm. A year's back when I first moved down here. No. Sorry guys, just had to edit something out there. Mm. Um, <laughs> okay, I, I lost uh, track of where I was and I kind of, you know, did Go stuff I should be doing on camera. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. Me and Lee are wearing... Yeah, we need to address the fact we're wearing matching jumpers. It should be his and hers, but it's more his and his. I borrowed his jumper, basically. Yeah. Aim has my jumper on from earlier on, and I thought, oh, we're all colourful while we're matching jumpers. Well, that's pretty much matching colours. Mm. I've got my fit. Christmas jumpers. We've already got some of them. Yeah, but we could get some new ones. I already thought about that. Christmas jumpers, Christmas mugs for our videos. So good. Obviously, um, there's a few surprises coming up over December, which I'm not going to talk about necessarily because you just will see it. I definitely want to do some nice videos for you. A couple of Christmas traditions that me and Lee used to do when we were kids. Mm. My worry is, because obviously none of us... Go on, carry on, sir. You carry on, I'll talk in a minute. No, I'm just saying, like, you know, it'll be nice to do some um, Christmas videos that um doesn't necessarily all revolve around food you know mm. what i mean but we're going to be trying some christmas food out for you mm, salad. leading up to christmas and holidays i always worry i'm going to get ill just in general like colds flus and stuff like, I'm like, this year, yeah but like in general i'm also like cross up like get ill over christmas so i enjoy christmas so much now 
as Aim says, like we're all in a position where we could get seriously ill. He makes me want to get the videos done for Christmas. In buddy November, I don't care. We'll just put up a tree for a week. Get all the videos done. And at least then if we're ill, like it was last Christmas, oh. you all don't miss out on what we've got it's planned a, for you. We couldn't be doing anything for like three weeks straight. No. Not at all. Mm. Well, let's just hope none of us, and you lot, hope you all stay safe and well. And we can all, as many of us as possible, enjoy our Christmas. No, I suggest you do. Go out. Get all these supplies. And we've already bought turkey. Two turkeys. Mm. Because we're doing two Christmas dinners this year. Yeah. Well, that wasn't for the plan, but... Well, yeah, either way. Go and get your stuff. Get it in and hibernate. Mm. As much as you can. Staying in. In your own house. It's the safest way not to get this damn thing. Well, it's like this. Um, I ain't read a post out. I'm not on Facebook, but I'm is. We won't mention where it is, but. No, I don't know where it is or who it was. But it's nurse on your way at this hospital. Said, look, all you idiots out there who were saying, no, 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 we don't need to wear masks. No, we're not going to go in shops with a mask on. We're not going to stay in our house and all this stuff. And there are enough people out there oh. saying it. And we've all got a bit fed up at one point or another. But she said, look, you're all going to come into the hospital, whether it's their hospital or another hospital, needing help. Not all, but anyone who gets ill because you haven't listened to the government guidelines and stuff. She said, yesterday I sit and watched a 52-year-old man die when he, he didn't have any health conditions. Mm. And this was it. And I just think to myself, put it this way. The way I see that is whatever we had at the beginning of the year was probably the worst illness of my life and yours, my mum's, everybody. We felt yeah. awful. Now, they put it into categories, aren't they? Like mild, medium and severe. Now, if severe is death, what about medium? That's near death, like near as close to it as you can. Now, I remember on Christmas Eve waking up with extreme nerve pain up and down my body it was like someone was just getting an ice pick and jabbing it in me all over and then come the evening i was sweat it wasn't i was awful really? mm -hmm. the coughing the back pain i've never had back pain like it in my life and i mean that lee and tia was having to rub my back for hours it was awful the sense of smell the taste gone and did how long did we just sleep for? No. Once I got it on Christmas Day, I didn't really. After Christmas Yours Day was night. It was Christmas Day night, wasn't it, as well? Well, I didn't wake up for over three days after that. My mum. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. But I'm type O blood, and they do say people with type I'm O positive blood tend to not get it severe. So I don't know whether me, mum, and Lee was just lucky. That's if this was this, but my. You know, my doctor, after hearing those symptoms, says it does sound like it. And the people on my street, they went to the hospital and said, you don't have influenza A or B, but you do have a chronic chest problem. We're not sure what it is. And anyway, the woman who actually had it, she's had an antibody test and it come back as COVID and that was before. Uh, she had that around Christmas time. Yeah, it was all really unwell. But... Oof, it was awful. I mean, awful. So stay in. Yeah, stay in. We you went can. to the German markets, and there was thousands of people there that day, and it, that's where we would have got it from. I'm sure. Stay in. Watch a good Christmas film. Watch us on here. Whatever. Watch the football if you're into football. Master Chef, whatever's on, and just take it easy. There's no need to take your chances because this thing don't give a shit who the hell you are, what age you am. We know. Just don't take any chances if you don't need to. And if you have to go out, make sure you wear a mask. Uh, but yeah. It's just to be safe at the end of the day for yourself, isn't it? Because, I mean, put it this way. Let's say ours wasn't COVID, which I'm pretty damn sure it was. Even like, you know, due to the fact that we just couldn't manoeuvre. The, mm. the 
lethargic. Did you say lethargic? Lethargy, lethargy, yeah. whatever it is, yeah. We was lethargic ex- to the extremes. I took like 12 paracetamol in one day. Like my mum was like, you cannot take no more. My back was excruciating. It was just horrendous. But ask me if I think that was worth it. Going to the German market or somewhere. Look at that thing, but nice. Going to the German markets. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's gone crackers, guys. My ma- Tia and my dad had it very mildly. Really mildly with the coughing. Mm. The sweating. The, literally, the temperature thing was just horrendous, wasn't it? Mm. I, I, I hated that. Not good. I mean, stay away from it if you can. Mm. you got to stay safe. <laughs> There's a bloke in America. It's not to do with COVID here. Halloween, just been gone on to it. You know, you showed me that bloke who had. I ain't joking, guys. If you find it on Facebook or YouTube or whatever, this bloke, he had like lifelike models of um, your oh, favourite yeah. horror characters from. Michael Pe- Myers, Freddy Krueger, Chucky. Pennywise, the, the Clown. It was everything. I mean, if I lived Looks in that house, so I should looking at the window. But Aim was like, yeah, look at this. And I was watching, I was like. Oh, because I expected one of them to maybe start moving. I thought it might be the trick. Like, maybe there's a person dressed up as the nun or whatever. That would really shit me up. But somebody in America, because they go all out. If you're American, you'll know this. And if you've seen any American film, you'll know this. They do go all out at Halloween. Uh, or All Hallows Eve, as they call it. This one person, he had, like, dismembered bodies all over his garden. Fake things, models, whatever. Like trails of blood, trails of guts, blood all over the walls. Somebody called the police. <laughs> Think, I mean, you could probably find it on the news somewhere. I don't know where. What, Good I just, for them. They called the police thinking there have been murders in this guy's front garden. And he just, I mean, yeah, I've killed people. I just left him in my front garden. I was like, I've got to have a cup hey, of tea. You do get these people that are about. But I, I, well, I don't know. It didn't look very, it looked believable. Uh, at a glance, it was dead people. But How good's that? I thought it looked that good. It was convincing. Mm-hmm. Definitely one of the like, best Halloween gimmick of the year or something. Or I can't believe you're actually eating like bean sprouts. Because Lee would never normally eat this kind of thing ever. Look, really like. when we met, that you'd be eating, he'd go, nah. The bean sprouts are dead tasty. Yeah, they're leaving us crunch as well, they do. Mm, a little over taste then, they have. I'll show you one of Oh, that's not one, is it? That's, that's a else. bean. That's a bamboo shoot. Oh, boom. Um, hang on. Here we go. That's a, no, it's not, it's a Mine's just falling apart. You know what a bean sprout looks like, but it tastes dead nice. So, yeah. But I'm simply down the shot really, so. It's like that, but they're a lot more. Oh, they're round, aren't they? When they're, no, that's a water chestnut. Oh, that's what I've been enjoying then. Sod the bean sprouts. It's the water chestnuts I like. They're uh-huh. really lovely. Mm. So that's. Um... I think I've eaten them all. I've been searching for them. Just oh, yeah. I didn't have any. I, my mum loves them. Yeah, they're dead tasty. But I sent me down the shop the other day and said, oh, can you get some uh, water chestnuts, I think it was. Bean sprouts. Bean sprouts. I went down there. I bought water That's chestnuts. I shoot. I bought bamboo shoots. And I forgot to get the bean sprouts. So I've come back and said, hey, I've got them. I ain't look, look, look. You ain't got the bean sprouts. Mm. Oh, for God's sake. So I sort it out. Yeah, the, the Mundo, I was thinking the water chestnuts. Yeah. Up. Hence the name water. No, I'm not land chestnuts. Oh, you've told me before. There's Someone this... knew the details like, properly on here, but mm. if you if you are that person, you could say it again. <laughs> Woo. One of our subscribers here, uh, our Megan, how do you do, Megs? Hi. From, you're from Sunderland, don't you, love? I'm pretty sure you are. We knew Woo. people in Sunderland once. We met them on holiday and we got to talk. But there's a bar in Sunderland, guys. Some of you might know it if you're from that area. It's called Bar 808, I think, if I read that right. And a bloke... Broke into this bar the other day to steal some food and whatnot. Somebody called the police. We, we think someone's broke into this bar. They're stealing food and stuff. The police turn up, thinking, oh, well, it's just take some prints and, you know, there'll be no one left. They all they would have fled ages ago. They found the poor bloke, passed out, not passed out, but faster kip, next to a half eaten cheesecake. He'd eat, started eating the cheesecake, probably might have been homeless or something or other, or maybe on drugs, got knackered. And dozed off next to, the ch- next to the evidence. Food coma. They didn't exactly have much, you know, much investigating to do. <laughs> oh, gosh, there are some funny things about But I did see an awful situation on the internet. There was this really elderly lady. 
and she was homeless on the street. Yeah. And they tried to come and help her, but she didn't want the help or something like that. And they left all the details with her. But she was so old, like, just, I just, God. Oh, yeah. It'd be awful, wouldn't it, guys, to imagine. And But there's a, a lot of charities at the moment helping out with food banks and everything, and mm. you know. And I just think, you never really know how lucky you are, do you? You no. don't t- you take it for granted a lot of the time. Um, you know, having roof over your head. And my friend always says, and this is a big saying, every day above ground is a great day. Yeah. And it's so true, isn't it, really? Because especially at these sort of times, nothing's guaranteed. And this brings me on to a lighter note now. So, Christmas. We have got literally four weeks before we start doing our Christmas section of our channel. Is there anything at all you want to see? Because we do like you guys to just take part in a few things. And if there's something you want us to do, something you want, like is there a food you want us to make? Is there anything you want us to video, record? Please let us know and then we'll do our best to, to do that, won't we, yeah. you know? And he's getting stuck into this stuff. Well, you're giving up on yours again. I haven't. I'm, I'm just full. So you're giving up on it, Anne? No, but that's what I was saying now, wasn't it? If there's yeah, anything... if there's anything you don't want to say, guys, let us know in the comments if you've watched this far in the video. I mean, it has been a bit of a serious video, which I don't really like, but let us know in the comments and we will do our, do best, our best to... Accommodate yeah, the situation. Accommodate. Yeah, I want to know what your Christmas traditions are. Like, Lee, what was the biggest thing like, you remember when you was a kid, like your best Christmas tradition? Best Christmas like what was your most favourite thing? And obviously presents are favourite. Come on, everybody loves that. But what was your most favourite thing? Um, probably got blah, 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 blah. the build up. Mm. The whole build up to it, like from when you look li- when you're in primary school. You get decorations in class and cards to your mum and dad. Post your cards in a, a bloody plastic cardboard letter box or <laughs> post box in the whole way. And all that stuff, I enjoyed all that. Christmas parties, we were only talking about this one with the other day. Yeah, Christmas parties, get, taking your own toys, like what, taking a, a toy. Toy um, day. Yeah, toy day. Your own clothes day. Uh, party. But, but as soon as I left, they got all serious, my school. They're like, no, 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 no. No more toys, no more fun. Remember, I went to a Christian school and I was christened as a kid, but I wasn't really religious. I had to do it sort of to get in, my mum tripped them. And they made her go to church like t- about two or three months straight before they'd even say, yeah, you can come to this school. And as soon as I left, they got this big old wooden cross. I think they did it because they knew I'd left. They're like, yes, the devil has left. <laughs> we'll, we'll get this up now because he won't deface it. His middle name's Damien. It is indeed. You've uh, got a bit of bean sprout or something on you. Um, they got this huge cross and stuck it on the side of the school and become really serious. They're like, no, can't do anything fun now. Can't put up trees in case it offends people and all this other stuff. Uh, and yeah, so I, I think we had the best time of it because literally mm. the years we were born and the years we was in primary school, they was a bit more relaxed about it. Yeah. Now you got to worry about lots of religions and stuff, haven't you? So I had this set up and I had my Christmas tradition where on Christmas Eve was my, well, I love the build up like you did, Lee, but I had like a lovely, lovely Christmas Eve it was a time when I used to think it was amazing. So, previous to Christmas Eve, we'd go, me and my family did. It was me, my mum, my dad, my mum's sister, her husband and her son. So, my auntie and uncle and cousin, basically. And we used to go Christmas shopping. And then we'd go out on the evenings and stuff. But Christmas Eve, so I'd go around to my auntie and uncle's while my mum and dad were setting up the house, you know, doing all that business. Because I used to cook the Christmas dinner. And then I'd do the Christmas table with my auntie, like, make it all up and everything. You know, like, you set the table and stuff. We did all that. And then we'd go for a Christmas drink. But rather than going in the pub, we'd sort of stay outside of the car. And we'd just have a cup, like, on the car park. And there was this thing that we did. And my uncle had, like, right, look up. Oh, there was no drinking and driving by my my uncle would drive there. My auntie would drive back. And then we would go. I'd just put my food in. You want to put it back on here? Oh, do you have any eggs? Yeah, I have. I've had two. Okay. Um, you haven't had one. I don't do it. What are you trying? Dipped in that sauce. I'm stuffed. Um, and then it tricked me. I was a little girl. Go look up. Then and go. Oh, there he is. 
there he is. And I'm like, oh, it's flying over. And Santa Claus is flying over the sky. And I was like, oh my God, it's real. He's really there. Glenn's just told me he's there. So I believe he's there. And I was like, Mom, Dad, we've seen him again in the same spot. <laughs> Every year. And then we go home. I'd have Christmas pyjamas, a teddy bear, a book. And then I'd put up like Rudolph's... Um, Carrot, mince pie, and we used to give him sherry, now it's milk. My dad enjoyed the sherry. Like that's the sherry did, yeah. And it was just fantastic. And then my mum and dad have bought this meal from like Marks and Spencer's. They'd buy like chicken and half baked bread and everything like that. And it was beautiful. And I used to absolutely love that tradition every single year. And even now, I still get kind of like excited. You can sort this out in a bit, then. He's making a racket on this video, huh? You can re I can really still feel that feeling around Christmas time. Mm. Lee used to have to go to the Chris Dingles. Yeah, that was my favourite part of, of Christmas, wasn't it? Going to Sodden Church on Christmas Eve. Sitting there with a buddy orange in my hand and a candle sticking out the top. I don't know what I was, was it the jelly tots that was on these little cocktail sticks sticking out the top of the orange? I was like, no, nope, no, nope, you got to behave yourself now, Lee. Like, <laughs> you got to sing songs, read the Bible. Oh, for frick's sake, it's Christmas, I don't want to do this. I didn't you know what, I work with this. Some WD forty. I don't know what the hell it is. What it's, this it's is? Creaky metal. It's creaky metal. It's that creaky sounds like metal. A, a rock band. Creaky metal. Yeah, you ever should make up a band? Probably creaky not, because I can't actually play an instrument or sing. Though you have seen my toilet karaoke, and if you haven't, go to Instagram and check it out. Anyway, guys, I think we're wrapping it up because did you say what that was out of your favourite thing? Yeah. Oh, the build-up. Build up. Yeah. What did you enjoy about Christmas Day apart from presents? Uh, presents. Crackers, chocolates, Maltesers, Christmas tree chocolates, crackers, chocolates, dinner, Yeah, Christmas like, movies. We like crackers, but you always mind how much I spend on them. Because my mum used to buy them as a kid. I didn't have to really buy them, did I? No sense these days, our kids haven't. Yeah, I can't wait for Christmas, and I hope to God you're going to enjoy our Christmas season. It's going to be fun. Yeah, it we're is going indeed. to work really hard, guys, to entertain you over lockdown as well. As much as we can, we're really going to be here to try and keep you guys entertained as much yeah. as possible. If you want this recipe, guys, drop us a comment. I ain't kidding you, guys. It was lovely. One. It of was these. what I made of it was lovely. We we'll have to try and up better, guys. I swear down. But that was enough. You don't need to over eat it if you're not. You can't keep okay. eating. You're not hungry. You've got to go. You can sneeze now in a rush again. Because I've got to go and wash up your hair and clean up and feed the, the dogs. You know, so we was rushing you guys off every video. Because they don't want to sit there for half hour watching us to just babble with our He made me buy Pak Choi and he hasn't even tried it. I mean, what was the point? For the colour of the video. I mean, we bought it. Get your piece, we'll try it. I don't want to try it. There it is. Looks like cabbage. That ain't, ain't. It's over here all slime. Get it. Oh, giddy God. Stop being a wimp. Come on. Hmm? That's good. I can't invite him to it. Oh, that's a nightmare. Get this cabbage. Oh, for God's sake. It's Chinese cabbage. No, I'll give that a miss, thanks. That's lovely. Well, I really love the guy houses, and I really love the bear, 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 bear. water chestnuts, was it? Mm -hmm. These are good. as proper, like, soft dumplings yeah, as well. Yeah, they're, they're really tasty than guy houses are. Whoops. I like these, but I do like the... I can't even explain it. They're soft, know. gooey kind of dumplings that I get from the Chinese or something. I've no idea what they would taste it, and I will be getting them again in the next couple of days and putting them away for Christmas. Yeah. Because they're lovely. These and the vegetable ones are both really nice ones. And these were actually from Lidl. I don't know how much it was. Don't be surprised, though. One ninety nine. No, it was so nice. And they're actually in the Christmas range section now, which is out and about. And what is Lidl Scandinavian for, guys? Shop down the road. Right. Thank <laughs> you for watching. Anyway, guys, remember to be kind, remember to be nice, comment, share, like, and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos because there's going to be a lot coming up, guys. Thank you. Hope you've enjoyed it and we'll see you next time. See you later. Bye.